Welcome back to The Basement, the friendliest place on YouTube. It's time to apply some netherite to our stuff. We have lots of netherite to apply, and I'm very excited to get it all going on all of our gear. And apparently I'm even more excited to move the coal from there to my hotbar. But we will get this figured out. Um, there's our sword. Here's our fortune three pick. Uh, here's our top tier shovel and our axe. I do have enough to do a hoe today, but the hoe is only efficiency three, and I want an unbreaking efficiency five hoe. Possibly with silk touch, I think. Or maybe with fortune. I don't know, does it matter? I'm thinking about that now. What enchantment do you want more on your hoe? Okay, wow, we are doing great. Let's get dressed. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, I wish those dumb things didn't get in the way. I'm also holding this uh, knockback sword because a baby zombified piglin came in and uh, disturbed my slumber. So I had to get him. Okay, we need potatoes in the hot bar, as usual, and we need our uncooked potatoes up here, but there's no room in the inn. <clears throat> Guys, we're so overpowered in this game, I can't even... I can't even tell you. Uh... We, we could carry around this mending book and hit enemies with it if we wanted to, but we don't, of course, because that would be silly, and Minecraft is not about being silly, it's about being serious. Here is a block of netherite. Um, I'm just gonna put that, I think, right here, so every night when I go to bed I can look at it and remember how awesome I am. Clearly I did some mining for ancient debris off camera, and I hope you'll forgive me for that. Uh, but this is a basement let's play series, which means, uh, what does it mean? It means less editing than other stuff, and that's okay. We need something to do now, and I'm wondering, do we have any um, ender pearls? Because it would be fun to go looking, ugh, it's been a little while since I've been in this world. We have four. Okay, and we could maybe use some more um, do we have any blaze rods? Ooh, that's a question. Have we discovered a fortress? I oh, spent a lot of time in the nether in the last episode, though. So maybe I don't want to do too much of that. Um, we could check our nether chest, I suppose. Our nether chests, which are out here. But I think it's mostly just like mining through solid nether. So maybe we go looking for a fortress. We get ourselves some blaze rods. Our stuff is um, armor proof, uh, or lava proof. After all, it will—that is to say—it will float in the lava. Let's just stick this in here. So it stops floating on my floor and making me nervous. Okay, what was I gonna do? Oh, why don't I put a piece of coal in here and heal up all my netherite stuff? Pickaxe healed, despite the fact I was wearing all that armor and it's all healed. Let's heal the shovel. Let's mend the axe. And look at that. All of our stuff is mended perfectly and we've got 74 levels. <laughs> it's good to be alive. It's a good day to be a Minecrafter. 84 levels. Seems like a good time to go into the nether to me. Um... We could also build. This is a nice cozy home, but I want a big ol' home. And I don't know where I would put that. Maybe I would put that near zero zero. What's at zero zero in the overworld? I think I found it. Okay, there's that abandoned village. I remember that. And there's our mine down there. We're doing fine for that. We don't really need any more diamonds. We're probably going to need more lapis at some point, but I don't know how much more enchanting we want to do. I guess if we get a bow... We could make some sort of god bow. So, um, I'm gonna see about finding a fortress, and uh, I'll get right back with you guys. Alrighty, I have an idea. It's, ooh, it's dark out. Alrighty, I know where we should go. There is another fortress at about Negative 450, negative 450. Yes, I looked it up with chunkbase.com. I entered my seed. 
and I selected Bedrock, 1.16 and up, and so we want to go, uh, towards 0, 0, I guess, which is where, um, our netherite mine is, way down there, but we also want to go to negative 450. Let's see, which pickaxe is this? I should probably be using the fortune one. So let's get over to zero. Because I don't know why. And then we got some blocks to go. <laughs> but that's okay. <clears throat> I probably should have brought some gravel with me. Uh, but that's okay too. Um, I've got Feather Falling, four, so we'll just be careful as we go down toward the fortress, I think. There will probably be lava underneath the fortress, uh, so we'll have to be real careful. We'll dig a two by one hold down once we get to negative 450, negative 450, and we'll just see how it goes. But boy, this netherite unbreaking three pickaxe with efficiency five, it's not going to take too much durability to get there, I don't think. We're already at negative 100. So I will meet you at negative 450, negative 450, unless something crazy happens, and I'll cut in. All right, here we are at negative 450, negative 450, and I can't pick up these blocks anymore because my inventory is full. Uh, and I didn't bring any wood with me, so I'm thinking we're probably going to have to make a trip back. Uh, but for now, I kind of want to see what's going on down below. So we're going to dig down as far as we go, and if it's safe, then we're going to dig down as far as we can go on the other side. And we'll keep repeating that pattern until we either see a fortress or see a big, big drop into onto the fortress or into nothing. Oh, I want these gold... Yeah, there we go. And if we happen to hit a lava source block, well, then that would just be bad luck. But even so, I think we'd survive it just fine because of our protection for armor. Although I should probably eat. We mined 1,800 blocks, and our pickaxe is in pretty good shape. And we didn't even get that hungry. I just ate. That's the first potato I've eaten since I left you guys. Okay, there's some quartz. We're getting a fair ways down in elevation, though, so that's promising. Whoop. Okay, there's that lava source block I warned of. Let's put that out. Okay, we're fine. I was thinking about it on the way over here. Lava source blocks are like more rare to hit than... I don't know. Diamonds, it feels like. You know, as long as you're at the right height in the overworld. Okay, we're getting down to a uh, low enough level where I'm starting to think we should maybe dig out. But we'll keep going. Yeah, that's kind of a bad sign right there. That magma block. Okay, let's try this. be a little too far down. All right, back up we go. Let's try, uh, I don't know, how about 45? Well, we found some gold. I can't believe it was solid all the way from the top to the bottom. I mean, at least down as far as we went. Oh man, am I using a fortune pick? I'm gonna end up with a lot of gold. Uh, come on now. Yeah, a lot of gold nuggets. Like chicken nuggets. Okay, let's try 55.
Here's something. Haha. -ha. Success. Wild success. And look, it looks like a skeleton died here. Whoa. There's a blaze. Could you give me a blaze rod? If we have good luck and we find a spawner right away. He didn't give me a blaze rod. Hey. Excuse me. I don't think you know who you're messing with here. Okay, we came from here. Uh, I guess we could mark that like that. Since we have tons and tons and tons of netherrack. Uh, let's look around for a blaze spawner real quick. And if we can get some blaze rods, then we can be done here for now. This chest is actually a good find. We can dump some stuff in here. And free up a little, and I mean a lot, of inventory space. Well, that wasn't much. Not much to write home about. That's okay. This will be our base of operations. No wither skeletons, please. And we can even mark that like this so that we know. Okay, there's our base. There's our way home. So I think first we try the upstairs. Might as well pick up those bones. Oh, that's a wither skeleton. Oop. Is he going to give me a head? No, but I see another wither skeleton. And now I've been withered. Yeah, come on. I'm not afraid of you. Not afraid of you either. Oh, we did get a head. Wow. No blaze rods, but a wither skeleton skull. Already. That is incredible. You I don't care about. You? Yeah, sure. Although I'm not particularly looking forward to fighting. Man, there's a lot of these guys. Should probably be a little bit careful. Where are these blaze coming from? Oh, there he is. There, we got a blaze rod. I'll make two powder, right? So I can make two pearls, right? And maybe I could find the end portal with just two. I'd like another rod first, though. The rod and staff, they guide me. Okay, let's hold this here so we know how many of them we have. Hi, skeleton. Oh, you do Oh, you're toast, bro. You shouldn't have done that. <laughs> that was funny. Did you guys see that? That skeleton shot that, uh, zombified pigman. Which did not work out great for him. Uh, is this a dead end in all directions? No, it's not. Oh boy, this is going to be quite the maze. This looks like stairs, though. Maybe this will be a spawner. It is. Okay, let's get a few more blaze rods. Zero more. This is a looting three sword, right? Come on, game. Come on. Come on. Hello, basement dwellers. Welcome to waiting for a SMR blaze. Why aren't any spawning? Are there too many already? Mom's spaghetti? Here we go. Die. Die. No blaze rods. Are they a rare drop? Have they been rarefied? I don't know, but I want these fence. Oh, there's some blaze rods. Okay. I was going to say mining this fence gives us something to do while we wait for more spawns. Oh. Sorry, I didn't notice you there. I don't actually care about you that much because I'm so OP. I came down here without any wood. And I'm leaving with more blaze rods than I wanted. And a wither skeleton skull. That's pretty cool. And I didn't have to like run and hide and eat or anything. I just sort of fought what I found. Okay. I, I figured as long as I'm standing here, I may as well do one more. Because I am going to want more blaze rods in the future. And now we're up to nine. So that's pretty good. Okay, let's remember that this is here somehow. Probably like... 
this. And then which direction did we come from? This way, I think. Yeah, stairs down. Oh, hello. And then here's our way out, right here. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of those guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come here, you. Yeah, you withered me. Good for you. With as plentiful as the spawning of these wither skeletons is, I don't think it's going to be that hard to find wither skeleton skulls. Whoa, where'd you come from? I mean, it's hard not to fight a wither skeleton when you've got health, food, and a looting three sword. So let's just do a little more. A little more nether farming. Why not? I don't actually have to run all the way back. I do want to retreat when these guys are about, though. So much good stuff with all my with my looting three sword and all these nether enemies. Come here, little guys. I don't want to think about how much. Yeah, you blaze are very scary. Oh, it's these guys. Hi, these guys. Oh yeah, and that's lava. Okay, are you dancing in the fire? You want me to help you? I couldn't tell if you were enjoying that or if you wanted help. Uh, okay. So let's check out our spoils here. We've got lots of stone swords. Um, nine magma creams, 16 blaze rod, and a wither skeleton skull. So now it's time to get... Okay, so we gotta remember this is down here somehow. I guess the ladder is gonna go. Let's see, where is our path up? It's right here. Let's do this. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, back up we go. We'll have to come back with ladders. Let's see, this is 450, so we'll go. Here's 449. We'll pillar up here. We'll come back with ladders so that we can always um, access our fortress. And my, what a nice fortress that was. I didn't find any, like, uh, diamond horse armor or um, anything like that. But we got what we came for. We got plenty of blaze rods. Uh, hmm. I wonder if I should do some... What the best way to get ender pearls now is, I think what I'm going to do is create, uh, ooh, am I going to have enough? Yes, I will. That worked out fortuitously. I'm glad I had enough netherrack to get back up, otherwise I would have had to dig back down. Okay, that is a big drop. So let us do that, so we can't accidentally fall down there. All right, and I'm going to head back home, and I'll meet you guys there. All right, guys, I'm back out of the nether at the safety of my home, and I'm going to dump some of this stuff off because who needs this many stone swords? That's the bad thing about hunting for wither skeleton skulls, I guess. Um, I think we have a little extra capacity in the attic, so we could store some things up here, although I'm loath to put my precious, precious wither skeleton skull up there. So I think, in fact, what I'll do instead with that is um, put it in an item frame on the first floor of the house. Excuse me, I'd like to go down now. Wayne's World, Dana Carvey. Excuse me, 
I'd like to get by now. Okay, um, let's make some blaze powder. Uh, four ought to be enough, and some eyes of ender. Now, it's not eye of enders, Minecraft YouTubers. It's eyes of ender. Uh, okay, so let's see. I want to get somewhere where I can see in every direction, so I don't lose this pearl if it doesn't break. All right, this will work. Let's throw it from here and see which way it goes. All right, we're headed that away. So, kind of from the portal past the spruce tree. That's our direction. So remember, portal to spruce tree. Uh, I'm gonna start booking it and throwing the pearls every once in a while, and if anything interesting happens, I'll let you know. And uh, I'll see you soon. So, here we go. Am I still going the right direction? I don't wanna throw it here. There's trees everywhere. Okay guys, I've been walking a while, and then I slept, and then I kept walking, and I'm not sure I'm still walking in the same direction. Because I seem to be going X positive, Y positive, so if I'm right, it's going to go that way. And it is. Okay, so we're going X positive, Y, I mean Z positive. And I did lose a pearl, too. Uh, so we're down to three. So I'm going to keep going, and uh, we'll see where we end up. Hey, a village. Ooh, an abandoned village. Potatoes, bread, extra bed. Oh, hi, little kitten. Little baby kitten. Hi, zombie. I like abandoned villages. I think they're spooky. I think they're a good tool to add to the un, uh, unexpressed, unknowable lore of Minecraft. That's something people used to be more into back when the game was newer. Was what is the lore? I think maybe the thought was someday there would be lore. And so it was fun to speculate what it might be. But now it's too late, of course. Too many people have loved this game too much for too long that even the best lore that you could come up with, like objectively the best, the one, I mean not objectively I guess, but the one that most people prefer most, you'd still alienate many, 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 many people who the lore doesn't sit well with. But I guess they would probably just choose to ignore it and keep playing the game anyway. I don't know. I don't know. These are the kind of thoughts I have uh, when I'm running through the wilderness in Minecraft and talking to myself. Especially if I edit this out. It will just be me talking to myself, and you'll never know. So, of course, if I edit it in, then I just you without a good cause. This is a cool spruce biome. Hi, dog. Ow. I like the no-look jump into water. The only problem is, is it often ends up being a no-look jump onto land. I like these mossy boulders, too. Although it was cool when the mossy cobblestone was only obtainable through finding dungeons. Now you can just shear vines and add them to cobblestone. So, since it's common, I like the addition of boulders in these biomes. Hi, cow. Could always use more leather. Books are in short supply, and bookcases are cool. Oh, I'm traveling a long ways in the overworld. This is going to increase the size of my world file, which is a consideration on Nintendo Switch, not because of the limited hard drive. I have a 400 gigabyte SD card, micro SD, in my Switch, but because of the 2 gigabyte file save limit imposed by Nintendo themselves for the Switch per uh, account. So that's why I'm playing this world on the basement account, and my other big Let's Play world is on my Peter account. I've been running for a while. I think the next clearing I get to... Hi, Fox. The next clearing I get to, I'm going to throw another eye. These biomes are big. Okay, this is kind of a clearing. Let's stand on top of this boulder and throw it. Guessing it'll be that way. Ooh, okay. So, a bit in this direction. Good, we still have three pearls. All right, I'm gonna go straight for a while and uh, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Whew, we finally made it out of there and into something new. Goodbye, Tyaga. Hey, a village. 
I'm sorry to kill you while eating. At least you didn't see it coming. Let's, uh... Maybe see if there's anything interesting in this village? Oh! Maybe... Maybe it's under this village. Ooh, that is a sharp turn. Maybe it's under the well. They sometimes are. Hi, cat. Uh, let's get up here so we have a little height. Oh, oh, guys, it's gonna be down here. Did I just lose that pearl? Okay, we're gonna see if we can find the pearl. Oh, I got it. I'm holding three again. All right, we're gonna dig down here and see what we can find. Oh, oh, wow. Huh, all right guys, we found it, which is outstanding. Uh, and I'm a little bit scared. I mean, I'm not really, because we're geared up to the nines, but I'm scared of getting lost, that's for sure. These things are confusing. Um, so I guess I better take a screenshot of my coordinates here, knowing that this is the way out. And I should probably do something to protect these villagers, too. So, um, hmm. I'll come back to you guys when we're uh, ready to go. I slept, which might have been the wrong choice. But many of the villagers are safe. And already we've got our trading villagers anyway, so maybe we'll let these guys fend for themselves. Just see how they do. All right, so our next goal then is going to be to, well, okay, let's see. Let's make some ladders, maybe. Excuse me. This is my area. Uh, well, it's not going to take very many ladders, is it? It might take a um, trap door, though. Keep these dorks safe. You know how dorks can be. Whoop, I need more. Ooh, hello. Surprise. Okay. Alright guys, so here I am in the bottom of the uh, stronghold. And uh, as you can see, I've set up just a little base. I threw a bunch of random stuff into this chest. And now it's time to look for the portal room. I don't know if we're going to find it in this episode. I'm only going to look for a little bit. Because I think it'd be fun to find it in the next episode. But oh my gosh, there is. Hello, little kitten. Right? Is this it? We found it already. <laughs> okay. So that was super easy. So uh, we did find it in this episode. Now uh, let's not fall in the lava. I kind of want to throw my um, shovel in there to watch it float. Because netherite stuff floats in the lava. Did you guys know that? See? There it is. Ha! That's pretty cool. Uh, okay, so here's our portal room. Um, so I was going to set up a base directly above the portal room, but I think instead I will set it up... Um, above where we came in because we already have like handy ladders and stuff so I'm set up some lights that lead back to our starting area which is not here uh where did we start from right here so that's it uh, so we'll explore the rest of the stronghold next time. We'll also um, do some hunting for ender pearls. And oh my gosh. Well, I'm glad I saw him. And uh, 
once we have all the pearls, then we can open up the portal. And I don't know that we'll go in right away or anything, but it'll be nice to have and nice to know where it is. We'll build a nether portal so we can get there easily from our home base and uh, all sorts of stuff for uh, the future of this series and next time. But uh, for now, I will bid you adieu. So until next time, basement dollars, I think that you guys are more adorable and wonderful than this little baby kitten who is sitting on my chest in the basement. A very important part of how the basement is able to bring you the content that we do daily is our wonderful YouTube sponsors and Patreon patrons listed on the screen now. If you would like to join this amazing group of people who are helping the basement to make even more content and do even more streams, you can go ahead and click the link in the description or on the screen right now. And we'd love to have you join us in making the basement not just the friendliest place on YouTube, but the most awesome place on the planet. In our solar system. In our universe. In, in the, the basement. basement.